like problem solving. I think that's the main thing that I like doing, especially in the technical space. I, I just see something that's not working and try and look at it, how you could make it work or, or make it better. My name is Sam Abel. I'm from Perth, Australia. I'm a petroleum engineer here for a year to study at MIT in system design and management. My company runs a program where they send people every year to MIT and what they're looking for in those people are people who want to try and solve very complex problems in complex systems really. And I think what's super interesting about the SDM program is just all the different perspectives you get. It's mainly people who have been working for a bunch of years, so they have very different thoughts and very different experiences and so they're able to share that which has got a lot of depth behind it. So for all you're doing a mix of both core class, systems engineering, systems architecture, project management kind of core uh, competency kind of class and then you're also doing electives that you choose around that as well. I did a class on energy economics manufacturing systems, another one on climate change and energy systems, one on analytics of operations management. So that was a pretty intense semester, that's about 60 something hours a week of course content. And then we have the Christmas break. My partner was able to come across with me to MIT, so she travelled with me from Perth, Australia. We love it so far, I think it's great in Boston. MIT is great in helping bring them in as well, so she's joined a lot of like spouse and partner networks. So it's been nice making friends from all over the world as well. And then getting us back into the cadence after the holiday, right? We have another kind of intensive week for the SDM group. We cover, you know, a little bit of a summary of all the things we learned in the previous semester. And then we form teams for the spring project, working with a company on a problem using the techniques you've learned. What we're trying to do is think about what are all the architectural decisions for a digital twin, right? a digital representation of a physical object or a piece of equipment to help monitor that equipment. So it's all those decisions along that process and we're getting a lot of high level input which is great and from us they're getting that thought process which we learned through the program about how to actually approach these complex problems, complex systems. In the spring, you're doing the core again, but you're also doing electives, and I've chosen a quantitative investment class, a supply chain analytics class, a law class at Harvard on state energy law. So whether or not I actually will ever do law at work is probably no, but it's just interesting to see how is the law interpreted. It's a different type of logic to engineering logic. In order to graduate, you have to finish a master's thesis. What I chose was energy portfolio, so how do you form a portfolio of different energy technologies with all the uncertainty around that in order to get your best outcome. And I'm doing that with the MIT Energy Initiative. You ideally want to take it back, right? It's rarely the case you can remember everything. Because what you're looking for, I think, is little inspiration points. You're going through your day to day and you see a problem that pops up and it's like, well, hey, I kind of remember that we did something similar in analytics of operations management. And it's kind of like, well, hey, this is how they thought about that problem. And this kind of has the, the feeling that it might be similar. Can we try and apply some of those techniques we learned there to this problem? So the advantage of being away from the company for a year is that you have a chance to kind of explore in a deeper way and try and bring that back.